Hey, hey. What's going on, Knife Nerds? I got the Vossi Raccoon here. The crossbar lock variation. And this is going to be a quick disassembly and reassembly video and showing you guys how to adjust or even replace the Omega Springs. Alright, so here it is. So I got the blacked out version with 14C28N. Black stone wash with the black micarta. And take a look at this new clip that they have. A little bit longer clearance, taller clearance, and it's pretty comfortable. All right, let's get to it. So T6, T6 is all around except for the pivot. The only time you'll be using the T8 is for the pivot. All right, so so make sure you take out this little, um, the show side uh, clip plate. It's um, connected to the liner. All right, there we go. And comes off pretty easy. All right, let's take a closer look at the micarta. I, I like it. It's done pretty well. Check out the milling. Nice. Pretty clean. All right, so here, here are the insides. There's the adjustable crossbar, three holes. So I'm going to... I'm going to adjust it to the lightest setting, which which is the furthest hole away from the lock bar itself. Closer to the lock bar, more pressure is pushing towards the tang and the knife. So I found a new little method on how to change springs or even adjust it. If you can, I like to put in the hole first and then just swing that other side down. Pretty easy. Instead of trying to find my way to the hole, I don't know, I don't know how many of you guys have problems. <laughs> but I do sometimes. But uh, here we go. So let's get to the other side. All right, tapity tap. All right. So this is where you're gonna need a little special tool. Wait, let me push out the pivot a bit. But don't push it out all the way. Keep it in there. I just want to kind of loosen it up because the next step, you're gonna need a piece of paper. All right, maybe a long uh, gum wrapper size we're just gonna roll it up um, I, I gave it some length so then it can have a bit of uh, rigidity rigidness so when I push it in it's not or when I twist it through then just fall apart all right twist this up I just found that a piece of paper is the easiest thing to come by um, if you don't have a tool some people say they use um, lollipop sticks. I mean, that's, those all would work. You can even buy a tool that's maybe like 20 bucks, 15, 20 dollars. But why not use a piece of paper? There you go. So you saw that the pivot just got pushed right on out. I like to pull the lock back a bit just so then it kind of relieves a bit. All right, there's the other side. All right, there's access to the other. Omega spring. Bam. Let's take one. Okay, this one's a little tougher than the other side. There we go. I'm going to put that, that in, in the hole first, secure that, and then swing it down. It's so much easier than just trying to, um, trying to bend the spring and get it into the hole. Yeah, it's, it's a whole mess, especially when you're trying to get closer and tighter to to the, the lock bar itself it can it, it can be a little a little annoying all right let's get the scale back on bam so easy i remember my first time uh dealing with with this type of um lock where the, both sides were are not independent of each other and it was a headache all right so this pivot it's D-shaped. Make sure that flat end is going towards the bottom of the knife. All right, towards the the butt end. Okay. And also, I I I found out that this uh, pivot side, the screw, this flat side, comes out. It's loose. So there's a chance that it might unscrew. So you're gonna either want to lock tight it or just be aware of it and you know pay attention. And tighten it when you need to. 
All right, so I got it in and then boom. I like to kind of pull back the lock a bit and just kind of wiggle it back in. All right, everything's coming together. I'm telling you, do Legos. There goes that little clip plate back in. I wish the the clip would ride a little deeper. Um, this is my taste. Otherwise, this, the function's still there. It's, it works really well. It's just for my taste, I would like a deeper, deeper carry because I'm in the office. All right. There we go. Check that play play, tighten it up a bit. There we go. A little tight. There we go. Much, much more forgiving on my thumb and my uh, index finger, adjusting to the lighter setting. Maybe when uh, I get used to it, when it breaks in a bit more, I'll move it up to the middle. Guess what, guys? I'm going to swap this clip out. I'm going to put in the contoured titanium clip from Kaiser. and this, Let's see how it feels in the hand. This new clip isn't bad. I like it, actually. Um, but uh, let's see how this one feels, since it ranks as one of my top. Works really well in other pieces I've swapped, too. So let's see how it feels in, in my hand with this model. So this screw was a little shallow. I needed a longer one. Gonna push this guy down a bit. All right. Go. So it looks good. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna carry it for a bit and see how it goes. Well, guys, I put back the stock clip. It turns out I actually like the feel of the stock clip better than this contoured one. Um, just for this model, it happens to fit better in my hand. Um, less movement. I think maybe the the contoured clip is a bit thick at the tip right there so sometimes it your hand can kind of push it around it's not as, as stable on this model so good job on this clip Lustied. I like it yeah good clip